everyone, Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and I'm coming at you with the Confessions of a Paper Addict Challenge Tic-Tac-Toe. I am doing the bottom row, a little bit of stitching, making a layout and using a cut file. I'm using the super gorgeous rainbow cut file um, which I have chain stitched in one, two, three, four, five different colours. Mustard, green, pink, blue, another green and another blue. <laughs> Um, and I've got these two little photos of my sister, my sister's friend and I. This was actually created in a live. Um, I did a live on a Sunday night of International Scrapbook Weekend at 8pm Australia time over in the Confessions of the Paper Attic Facebook group. And I actually completed two layouts at the same time. This one and the If Friends Were Powers, I'd pick you layout. So make sure you check out that video as well if you are interested to see how that goes. Apologies if my kettle is loud in the background. It is cup of tea time over here for me. I'm getting ready to relax with my book and get ready for bed. It's not like super late because don't want caffeine too late, but late enough to have a cup of tea and get in my gym jams and get ready for bed. So work day for me tomorrow, so I've got to get organized. I had a little bit of trouble starting this one off. I wanted something to be the base of my clusters. So I was having a go at using the clovers as the cluster base, but it really wasn't working for me. I didn't really like, um, yeah, the look of that clover sticking out underneath there. So I end up pulling those clovers out and replacing the base with something else because it's just not happening. I'm also lamenting the fact that all the flowers are the same pink color except for one. There's one lighter colored one, creamy colored one, and I want more. I want two contrasting colors so I can layer up these flowers a bit better and it's not happening. So out comes that clover because it is not working. And I try these big, um, they're like pieces of wood, but mm, that's not working either. It's the wrong I don't know, size and shape and color, and it's just, it's also not happening. So I pull it out as well. The only thing so far that I'm liking about the layout is the title, the love heart, and the butterfly. I'm going to stick on my photos because I know I'm happy with where they are. Sometimes I do that. When I'm getting a bit stuck, I stick down the things that I know that I like. So I'm sticking down my photos and I'm sticking down my title. The one thing I would do differently if I was doing this again is I'd actually take the time to pop my title up on foam because I think it would look a bit nicer being a bit um, dimensional. But that's okay. Not a big, big issue <laughs> with the layout. But that is what I like. I do pop the word friends up. So there is a little bit of dimension happening here with the lovely stuck down and the friends sitting up over top of it, but that's okay. Pop on my little love heart because I like him. And so these are the aspects of the cut file that I like, that I'm happy with. And now I'm starting to have a play. As I said, these cluster bases are causing me issues. I'm trying all the different colored bits of wood and they're just not working so now I start to think maybe I could use the frame the coloring of the frame is better I'm liking that better and I think I probably won't um, use the frames for anything else and I think that might work I actually quite like that so in the end I just don't want to overthink it as I said this is a live video so I'm also conscious of the fact that I have been fiddling around with these clusters for a good 10 minutes now and not really made any decisions. So I'm just gonna roll with the frame and just get on down with it. At the moment, I'm complaining about the size of these photos and, and how our head shape is in these photos because you can't layer anything on top of the photo because you'll basically cover my entire face first world problems. This photo is from 2014 and if you've been watching along with my videos you will know I'm up to going backwards in my scrapping now because I'm up to date and I'm completing the year 2014 and I discovered the hard way 
that I don't have any photos from the year 2014. I've got photos from all the years around 2014, but not 2014. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, yep, got them all. 14, nah, nada, not a thing, zip, noop, no. Nah. So I went to Hunter and I rung my mom and I rang my sister and got them to share their photos with me and I got onto Facebook, but I wasn't super huge on Facebook in 2014. I dug around on Katie's Facebook and found what I could and I've probably managed to get one photo from every month. That's it. <laughs> so very, very small. Christmas is pretty well presented. I got a, a new DSLR camera for Christmas. So I'm pretty good with Christmas and that's about all. So not too bad, really. Um, I had my honeymoon in January, so I've got tons of photos of that. And then we've got Christmas in December, and I've got tons of photos of that. But it's everything in between that I do not have. Um, not a lot happened in 2014, I'm going to be honest. So I'm not really missing much. Things that I would have liked photos of were we bought a house. Very first house my husband and I bought together. First house I've ever bought. And have any moving in or moving day, or moving photos at all. I do have sale photos in 2013 though, so that's pretty good. Um, and also it's my dad's 60th birthday in 2014, and yeah, zero photos of that. What I did end up doing is taking a photograph of a photograph, because my mum has a picture of us um, celebrating dad's birthday, so there is that is at least represented in my 2014 album, but at this moment, uh, Moving House is not even represented in my 2014 album, just the sale of the house will be in the 2013 album. You know, it's not a massive deal, and it's not a game changer in the world, but it's just interesting how I have no idea where those photos have vanished to this, I don't know, as I said, my other photos are there, but this one is not. So, Back to my actual layout, I took a break. I was having trouble with this layout and took a break and worked on the If Friends Were Flowers layout during this live cross. And that's when I found this extra banner, the wonderful banner that you can see up there above our heads. Uh, and I decided I did want to put it in that little spot. It's not stuck down yet though, don't panic, because it's literally on top of the butterfly. My mum during the live also suggested that something needed to go down in that bottom left hand corner So that's where the grass and the wheelbarrow came from There was a lot of toing and froing to work out what exactly worked down in that bottom left hand corner There wasn't a huge amount of ephemera left in the packet that was suitable I did joke around and say that I was going to put the eggs and milk and waffles down there Mum didn't find that funny But happy with the wheelbarrow and grass that looks good and then I pull out the ephemera because another gorgeous subscriber, Cindy, Cindy suggested that I could color match, like um, put the ephemera colors of, like use, uh, use ephemera in the colors of the rainbow arches. And I'd gone too far with my clusters to be able to do that, but I decided I would play with that in putting on some enamel dots. So now I'm gonna put on this little banner that says wonderful. And it's going to go exactly where it was basically, but I just wanted to move the butterfly because I still want the butterfly as well. So pop him in there, put on the little butterfly, and I think that's pretty cute. And then I don't put enamel dots on every single archway ray, just around the clusters. But yeah, I just color match those. So they're very subtle. They're not super, super noticeable, but they're just a nice little pop of color on the different... Um, pages on the different arches I can't completely color match perfectly but it's enough I think it gives the effect I like popping the super big enamel dots underneath the ephemera clusters sort of tucking them in and hiding those and then I pull out these super gorgeous ones with these tiny little mini hearts that flick everywhere but they're cute and they take me quite a while to pack up but they're so cute and I pop those on as well And then I'm just about finished. I will, of course, splash with some Heidi Swap Color Shine because you know, guys know me by now. I cannot possibly finish a layout without some Color Shine. And then I was putting this back in the packet and all the little tiny love hearts flicked off. Ah, disaster. So I do end up putting one of those love hearts up there where I'm talking about right now. 
Ah, <sighs> sigh. It's so frustrating when they all flicked off. It really took me ages to get them all back into the packet. And I didn't even put them back in the packet nicely. I just tried to get them in. Um, and then I'm pretty much done, guys. So thank you so much for watching. How did you go over this International Scrapbooking Weekend? Did you get some challenges done? Uh, between my sister and I, we did all nine of the COPA challenges. I did five of them. I did tic-tac-toe, grab five, the blue and grey mood board and big title, two of which I did during the live cross. Um, so I was very happy with that achievement. How did you go? Not just COPA ones. How did you go in general? Did you do any other challenges? Um, I know a few people that did like nine and ten layouts in one weekend, which is just incredible for me. I, I could not do that. No way. Um, but here we are. I was just about finished and I felt like the layout was missing something and the gorgeous Danny suggested that I do a doodly border um, and she supported me through the drawing of a doodly border. I am not uh, confident with my doodly border drawing. I feel I stuff it up every time. Danny was teasing me because she's like, oh my goodness, you do it so slowly and carefully. She's like, I just go nuts and just go zoop, 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 zoop. And it's like off the page and everything. And I'm like, but Danny, I don't even notice. Your borders look amazing. So we are our own worst enemy was the conclusion we came to there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you had a fantastic international scrapbooking weekend. Managed to get some challenges done. Managed to just interact with some fellow peers and have a great weekend. Thank you, everyone. And I'll see you next time.